this is a morning routine for the chickens. They prefer to drink out of these goat water bowls versus their um, the little nipple water that they have actually in their chicken coop, which is totally fine by me. Because it's one less water pail that I have to worry about filling up. We've got water bowls like this for the goats, you know, scattered all about. There's one there, there's one there, there's one here. They're all over the place. So those all get filled on a daily basis anyway. If the chickens use them too. I don't have to worry about filling up their uh, their nipple water, but I still leave it. I try to leave it, you know, filled in their coop so they can get a drink overnight. If they want one, they usually don't. But it sure does crack me up to see them all line up here and stick their head through the fence. They're sticking through that two by four wire, but they all stick their heads through the fence and get them a drink. And you'll see them all over in different water bowls. Once they find one, they all line up just like a food trough. Let's see if any are out here. No, there's usually a few lined up on that bowl too. Anyway, this is what I was calling their nipple water. It's just a two gallon bucket with the little red poultry nipples in the bottom. It doesn't work that great, it leaks a lot, but it works. You can see it's pretty well empty right now, but there's still a little bit sloshing around in there. Oh, anyway, chickies are doing their thing. They're starting to leave a little mess under their coop, but that's okay, it'll clean out easy. And if it doesn't, it's in contact with the ground, so the worms will start to work on it too. So that's a good deal. Okay, morning chores are done. Anyway, this is what I was calling their nipple water. It's just a two gallon bucket with the little red poultry nipples in the bottom. It doesn't work that great, it leaks a lot, but it works. You can see it's pretty well empty right now, but there's still a little bit sloshing around in there. Oh, anyway, chickies are doing their thing. They're starting to leave a little mess under their coop, but that's okay, it'll clean out easy. And if it doesn't, it's in contact with the ground, so the worms will start to work on it too. So that's a good deal. I saw him run towards him at one point this morning uh, but it was almost like he was trying to scare them because he ran at them and then ran away. I really don't know. But the chicks are uh, they are expanding their limits for sure. They've worked their way all the way around the back of the pens here and slipped out through the fences. And are out here around this feeder now. They're going after those fresh Mom, greens, I guess. So I tell you guys what. Our little uh, pest killers here. Our little chickies have been doing excellent. They've been out running. Um, <clears throat> we let them out every day now. I think it's been not quite a week that we've just been leaving them out all day long. Gosh, I can't get, seem to get that sun right. Um, we haven't had any problems so far, knock on wood. The cat doesn't seem like he's interested in them at all. Every now and then you'll see the cat like kind of hunch down and run towards them. Uh, but it's actually because he's trying to... Look at these two. Look at those two duking it out in the alleyway. It's actually because he's trying to scare them and then he runs past he tries he tries to charge at him to scare him <clears throat> and then he runs on by so that he can get into the barn and get his cat food um so he hasn't shown any interest at all in wanting to mess with them um the dogs i figured the dogs would be down here just you know stalking outside the fence just hoping that a chicken would get outside the goat pen but the dogs haven't seemed to want to bother him either knock on wood again um and so far only one of the chicks has slipped outside the fence um for just a minute and the kids chased it back in so hopefully this thing is whole kind of working itself out uh, but what i wanted to mention was you know i said that our goal with these chickens is basically to let them scratch and peck every day in the goat pen and not have to give them really you know uh layer crumbles or layer pellets when they get bigger and obviously we'll still have to supplement you know with some some calcium um and maybe some you know trace minerals or whatever but I didn't want to have to be going and buying uh, chick feed if I can help it, our, our um, layer pellet. And so far, since they've been out running for, like I said, four or five days, I have not added any food to their feeder at all. And you can see where it's at. I think it was maybe up here, maybe half full when we started four days ago. So they're filling up. They're running around and they're scratching, they're pecking, they're eating, they're filling up. And they're not worried about those uh, chick crumbles. Now, are they getting the same protein content? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe better, right? Who knows? Um, their water bucket, too. I think I topped off their water bucket the other day. 
but I just saw a bunch of them drinking out of the goat pails, which is again exactly what I was hoping for. So if we can get away with not having to refill their water bucket and not have to give them supplemental feed, this thing just might work. Now we got five more months before they start laying eggs. <laughs> and then we'll be drowning in eggs. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to mention that. I want to give you guys that little kind of update. Things are going really good with them. Um, but I'm really, really happy so far with their ability to run around and scratch and pack and, and keep things clean. And I mean, it's cold this morning, so the flies are kind of settled anyway. But I feel like our fly population is going down. I was just going to show you some of the, this is the work of the chickens here. They come through this straw and they turn all that over. And you can look all the way around. They do it everywhere. Which I'm totally fine with all along. All along here. They've got all that scratched up. Just, you just find these little spots where there's little bear spots where a chicken found something good and went after it. Um, but yeah, I feel like the fly pressure is down. Our temperatures have been getting warmer in general. Other than this morning, it's about 50 degrees. Uh, and again... I'm not mentioning it, but like that was our whole goal originally with chickens was, I mean, yeah, having eggs is great, but I've actually got a guy that's selling eggs super, super cheap because he's got pet chickens basically and he just doesn't care. Um, so the goal wasn't really to secure cheap eggs as much as it was to try to have a, you know, sort of symbiotic relationship and try to knock these flies down because the flies in this goat pen were just off the hook. So if the chickens will scratch and dig all day long and take care of the fly problem, that is a win, win, win. They're eating bugs. They're eating for free. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, they're keeping the feed bell down and they'll give us some eggs. So that's the goal. That's a good deal. Um, yeah, that's it. I just wrapped up doing goat chores. Got everybody fed. We're drying off all these girls. I think I mentioned all of our milkers are dried up. The freezer is completely, completely full. Last night was the first time we actually had to set out a gallon of milk out of the freezer versus having fresh in the fridge. That's the first time you've had to do that in, oh, since late November, I guess. Interesting. April Fool's Day. Today's April 1st. April Fool's Day. Look at them. Look at them going after that green grass. They get out on that side of the fence every morning. They go after that green grass. They love it. Joel Salton knows his stuff. All right. That's it. Y'all have a good day.